have arrived, you know? We observed. No, Dora, you have just observed that <laughs> I have arrived. Just. Yes, yes. You know, you know, say you fight me, do you? So when me do the maths and broke it down, yes, me realize say four. you want shorten my pay. Sh <laughs> eh, them that kept here? But no, you are management. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So no, you man, you pay a good man. And announcing to the public that I am consistently late. What are you saying? No, man, you arrived early today. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just today. Shane, Shane has arrived. Wow. See. Well, I, I, I guess it's the power of goody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He came in with his hands uh, raised in the air. Well, you know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, welcome to Music News. It's Friday, September 3. I'm Kishima Francis. Dancehall DJ Popcorn has officially unveiled The Unruly Shop, a collaboration with Daily Paper, an Amsterdam-based fashion brand which aims to unite global communities. According to Daily Paper, reflecting freedom, the capsule collection is inspired by the Jamaican dirt bike culture. Titled after Popcorn's Unruly Entertainment imprint, the collection consists of six garments that are a reflection of the Jamaican flag with its black, green and gold color scheme. The range of t-shirts and hoodies feature graphics such as an animated image of Popcorn as a biker, a map of Jamaica, and his unruly phrase and symbol. The unruly boss was in London to promote the Daily Paper Unruly Collection. Established in 2012, Daily Paper, known for its ready-to-wear garments and accessories, was inspired by the African heritage of its founders, together with the passion of contemporary fashion. <laughs> Calm, calm down, calm down. I was trying to get out what I was trying to say. <laughs> what? I was just trying to get out what I was trying to say. I couldn't get it one out. You know, I had to tell myself word. to calm don't down. Try, don't try to speak and join up one word at a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, 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 so what really happened between Poppy and Queenie? Well, the Popcorn Queenie saga um, last week. It was a situation where he was in a club, Queenie was in the same space, and based on the video that she posted, she was she had her video running, and you know, says St. Thomas man, Popcorn didn't respond, and of course, that really got her ruffled. She went on social media, made several videos, and then now to add insult to injury, Popcorn, in his story that, w that was deleted, basically made a post saying, um, a few Instagram followers and, you know, them think them a celebrity. Something to that effect. That further angered Queenie, who was already upset. So what do you make of it, though, Dora? Because I'm sure you've had situations where people come up to you and probably, you know, want to talk. And ultimately, celebs are humans, but then also... No, man, no, man. That's not, that's not a human celeb business. That's not a total disrespect. Talk to me. How you not, not that there's somewhere where, where, you know, you were in a space where it's a social space, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the lady reached out to you. So mm -hmm. it was just a total disrespect. It was not a matter of why I'm not in the mood or I'm having a bad time. Mm -hmm. It was a mm -hmm. total disrespect to the elder. Because you're saying in that space, it is irrespective of how you're feeling. It is basically. And then I feel no way. I'm just not a manners. It wasn't mm -hmm. feeling any way. It just don't have any manners. <laughs> I just think that he is the celebrity over Queenie, which mean mm -hmm. which his status in life has nothing to do with anything more than well, you know um, having good manners. Queenie did say in some of her posts that she made that you know she and Popcorn basically in the same boat boat because they're trying to they're fighting both fighting right. for a she, Grammy. She's fighting for the Grammy. <laughs> she's you a know, wife. Nicki Minaj you know? following her on, on social right. media. You know, so I mean, <laughs> I mean, healing is new. To the but elder, not true. The queen is elder, you know. True, true. I mean, there, there, is, there are ways how to deal with different situations. And, and fans in general are going to approach it differently. It is totally up to you to, in order, to know man. In how order. to handle it. In order, I'm all queen here, uh, uh, apology. In order, and, yeah, and, man. And, and, and I think the comment that he made after made the situation That's why I'm telling you, say it wasn't anything to do with boy, I mean, not in a good mood. He's just out of order. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he more, he more apology. 
But Cecile also weighed in on the situation where she used her social media platform in her Instagram story to say that, um, you know, there there is a way how to do things. And, you know, in mentioning the approach, and she also spoke about energy. Uh, what's your take on that? Because I'm sure you have been in situations. So she, she blamed um, Queenie, is that what you're saying? In essence, yes, that's where the finger is pointed. <laughs> and she's scratching I, the side of her face. Well, I had to hold back that comment. Are you serious? Yes. Are you, are you like, really serious? But no, no, man. Why, why, are you, why are you surprised? I mean, people, people, people are entitled to their opinion, you know, first of all, and they will say how they feel and what they think. You, you see, ex especially the, all of us are co-workers. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't expect um, another artist to come and say that. I would expect oh, wow. an artist to, to, to bring the peace. Mm -hmm. If you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Definitely, definitely. So, so, so big man thing, it, it should have been more like, you know, boy, apologize to Mama and let's, you know, and get on with on. it. Right. You, you understand and what I'm saying? True, true, yeah. true. Because the situation could have been contained. Yeah, man. Could totally, totally, totally. While, uh, while in the same breath, you also have some fans who are saying uh, that, um, you know, if you invade people's space uh, and you get certain reaction, don't be surprised. It's, 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 like I keep saying, you know, it's just a matter of respect and a matter mm -hmm. of just manners. Mm -hmm. you, you know, good, good, good manners, you know, old fashioned manners. You, you know what I mean? Uh, and mm -hmm. then you went now to, to you know, add, add more, more fuel to the fire by, by posting that basically she's not a celebrity. Therefore, mm -hmm. she's not deserving of, of your attention. Which, which is why which he is deleted this. the post. Which is another, because... which is another this. Yeah, exactly. You understand? Mm -hmm. People are people, you know, Queen is who she is. You know, she's going to get up and she's going to quarrel and she's going to mm -hmm. carry on and whatever. But I don't, I don't feel in my heart that she feel she, she mean any harm. Kind mm -hmm, of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and I keep saying she's an elder, no matter what. Mm -hmm, you understand? Mm -hmm. so you have to respect the elders. You understand? Uh, one, one of the things that you said that I truly agree with, Dora, is the peace could, you could contain the peace. Shane, not hearing you, Shane. You have to get on mic. I'm saying that she would be known to him. So, Anna Lag says she was a complete stranger. Mm -hmm. And she especially when Jamaicans him. link up a foreign, you just yeah. want to hear the accent. Right. You know what I mean? I just manners, man. I just manners. All right. Um, in other news, the third wave of the COVID-19 pandemic has forced the organizers of Reggae Sumfest to shelve plans for a December 2021 staging. Dubbed the greatest reggae festival, Sumfest is usually held during summer at Catherine Hall in Montego Bay. In 2020, Reggae Sumfest held a virtual staging under the theme A Taste of Sumfest. During the Ebo's Wednesday on Irie FM, Downtown Records executive and producer Scatter Burrell said to be on the safe side they are looking towards 2022 instead there was a talk for october staging there was a talk for uh, december staging was going to do a big thing in december but mm -hmm. we saw the thing changing up and we said you know what to be on the safe side eh, let's scrap anything for this year and then we're still holding on to 2022 we, so some first 2022 is very likely very likely at present, Prime Minister Andrew Holness has pulled the plug on entertainment events and implemented measures to curb the spread of the coronavirus. As of today, September 3, Jamaica has recorded 735 confirmed COVID-19 cases, bringing the overall tally to 69,789, while hospitals across the island are overwhelmed. What do you say to promoters now, Dora, who are thinking about keeping an event? I don't think I don't think any anybody is thinking that. They'd be crazy to think <laughs> be thinking that they can host an event at this point. Can you think it's mm -hmm. serious enough? Well yes, serious definitely. enough. Don't Unless, even no, I don't I don't even think about hosting an event until twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three, to be fair, because the thing with the promotion of events is that you need some leg room to start your promotion early. And with at the rate at how COVID is going and you know the rise in cases, that doesn't provide that opportunity for you to adequately plan and promote. Exactly. So, you know, we just have to go on wallet, find other innovative ways of, you know, securing Turning. the bag. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Hopefully you are saving for a rainy day because this is the rainy day.
Look here, Dora. It has been raining. It for has a been year raining. And it has been pouring. Pouring. For a year and it's so, not done yet. Know, exactly. In other news, incarcerated but clearly not silent, more of Vibes Cartel's exclusive jailhouse interview with Fox 5 New York's Lisa Evers will be aired tonight, according to the U.S. journalist. Evers, in a social media post on her official Instagram page Friday, said in part, exclusive special episode, Vibes Cartel, the voice that will not be silenced, tonight, 10.30 p.m., hashtag Fox 5. Last month, Lisa Evers' two-part jailhouse interview aired on Fox 5 with Vibes Cartel sparked talks that the Department of Correctional Services had launched a major investigation. However, according to Vibes Cartel's lawyer, Isat Buchanan, the interview predates his movement from Spanish Town to the Horizon Adult Remand Center. Vibes Cartel is currently serving a life sentence for murder. So you said there's a massive um, investigation? Well, it's quite quiet. There, no, there are talks. <laughs> there are talks. There are talks because I like Shane. some, some yeah, man, weeks quiet ago. For true. Say, go again, Shane. No, I was saying, just reiterating what Shane's saying that the massive investigation really very quiet. No, that's right. That's that. That is why I had to put it in co into context by saying there are talks uh, of an investigation talk? because the talks we did hear of it because as a result of the talks. But then here it is. Fox Five is coming again with more um, jailhouse exclusive from from Vibes Cartel, and his lawyer basically came out and said, "Look." This is some long time thing and you're already moving from point A to point B as a result. So what do you do? So is this helping the case? Is that, that is, is that what, what is I going don't on? understand. Is this interview, what do you think, Shade? Is it helping the is, 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 um, appeal? Well, I don't know, you know. Maybe he might think that it will. Um, in the interview, you were seeing where he was confident that mm -hmm. um, his and charge will be to the Privy yeah, Council. that his charge will be set aside right so um i think that he does think that it okay. will help him i don't know i'm not sure about it though exactly because it's, it's just the channels i am thinking to obtain it you know if, if, uh, if i were looking at it from a legal perspective mm -hmm. um i know that might not count and all of that but from the Privy Council, if I was looking at a, at a legal perspective, I'd question too how these interviews got done and how him recording and all them stuff. Whether you was at Horizon or... Yes, yes. Wherever. Wherever yeah, because, yes. because in yeah. truth, in truth, that is just the first question. And once, according to the system, no permission was granted, mm -hmm. then, but you know, I that mean, is not something that you can look away from. This is Jamaica. But it's, hey, it's not a real oh, place. Shine, you took it out of my mouth. I was about to say that. That this what is did Jamaica. You take from your mouth, yeah, man, Shane? this is Jamaica. You know, corruption and <laughs> yeah. all these things, man. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, man. Our left Little you know money have to run and all yeah, these things. Yeah, yeah man. No. That's yeah, man. That, what, that is what makes us yes. the, the people we are. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. Little Colorful. hustling have to go on, you know, man. Right. You know. Food have to eat. And then so you don't need a massive investigation where that mm. is concerned. Basically, this is who we are. are. <laughs> yeah. World government. It None makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. But on a serious note, um, let's see what happens. No, in it's that time, Dora. It's that time. Give me a signal. It's time for TGIF Top right. Gossip in Five. All right. Now, some people using social media platforms have a tendency to just hit the like button without reading the caption or paying attention to the actual message. So, TGIF Top Gossip in Five message over admiration. Should public figures take precaution before hitting the like button across social media platforms or? It isn't that serious. I don't mean, think it's that serious. I mean, there's so much to go through. I mean, you stop or something, you just, you know. I've, I've been seeing you all going through your phones. <laughs> it, it never too evil. Read us, double tap, and then gone again. Read before you click shine. Me? Yeah, the, read I, I before you click. I mean, never say me do that. I just say me see people do no, that. No, I, I know. I'm just saying, read before you click. Read before yeah, you man. click. Yeah, man. Some people click on them, not read. Yeah. 
Because they said they must support them bridging. So then, you know, you, 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 you double tap with the like. Yeah, man. You understand? Yeah, so you, it, it, is, it is something that can even come to bite you later on by just going around and, and liking certain messages, especially with people having the ability to screenshot. Oh. Before you unlike right. a post. You, you can't, you, oh, unlike it. No, you, you can't unlike it. You can unlike it, but, but sometimes, somebody does you know, screenshot it, it. It gets screenshot before you can unlike it. All because I don't mean, think boy, it's a serious still. It's not serious. You don't think. What do you <gasps> think, Shane? Do you think it is serious? It's worth having the conversation, or well, it does depend on your morals, your point of view, you know, your ethics, whatever. Because mm -hmm. and even your may, position. Yes, man. Because it may mm -hmm. be that whatever it was that the person posted. Um, popular though they may be, you might not be in agreement with it. But then mm -hmm. you didn't take the time to read what it was that was posted. And so you went ahead and you like and you click and then you buck up on your friends them now and they must say to you say then how oh, come me did hear you say you never gone over A eh? but me see you click. And mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. it does it does leave that controversy. Yeah, but which I, I, I you think... you might have to look in at yourself to sort out for see, you know, whether you're and, staying and it, or you're it, lane it, or you're venture or in another lane. But the space is managed, when, isn't it? But especially Dora when the and, and Shane, when the way of the world it, it is changing, like everything is basically online. Your 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 what you do online is almost your 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 fingerprint. It's like you know, a it, signature. It, it, is a signature yes, pretty much yes. it basically follows you so so even though on the uh, on the outside looking in you may want to feel like oh this isn't a big deal but chances are it will it will always follow you because we have seen instances where somebody likes something in the past and an issue comes up and you're speaking strongly against and then here comes your your signature your yes. like your like, comment like to say, go, okay, but see, this is contradictory yeah me now go see somebody put up one rainbow flag on facebook and me i go like it no i mm -hmm. i have nothing with rainbows but me now like a rainbow flag a, a lot of facebook. people don't know what rainbows mean in i Australia. know and and we see a lot of people with rainbow <laughs> umbrellas, rainbow yes. bandanas, mm, it's, garments. No, and that, that's so, kind of so that's the point. And they're just because they just like you, the rainbow. You will see me walking with a rainbow arrayed color umbrella right. in the rain. Yeah. But I won't go on Facebook and like a rainbow flag. Because it There's means a difference. It means something else. There's a mm -hmm. difference. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's mm -hmm. that's the point. So then it and gets that serious. Is why it is yeah. In, that yeah. is why it is important For no, to, you know. to read before you yeah, like. Like, yeah, man. And take the necessary precautions. So, you know, ultimately, whatever you're liking is not because I know Shane for a long time. So, I'm going to like this post. Or try, I know Dora's content, always entertaining and fun. So, you're liking it without paying attention to what, to you what like. was actually written. Poopa Jesus. Mm. <laughs> we need to unfollow some people so you can pay attention somewhere. Yeah. But even even the persons that you're following too, that, that that is a part of the conversation. Like who do you follow? What do they support? What do they stand for? How true, does that go true, against true, your beliefs true. or even your brand? True. So it is almost like this whole digital footprint, this that that will follow you because that is the direction and the way of the world. So let me ask you something. People actually sit down and go through I, I think you can actually see um the people you're following mm -hmm. people can you actually can. go check it out check out the people you're following right yes so so you so people really have the time to go and check out who you're following but dora do you know that even to get a job at certain organizations like what you post on social media and also your digital footprint what you say on twitter um, these are May things have that are an now effect. being taken yes. into consideration yes. before before you are employed for certain positions in certain organizations. Mm. Yes, it's yes. get deeper. 
it, 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 it is very deep. It is more than just a platform for selfies and smiles and just saying the first mm -hmm. thing that comes to your mind and how you portray yourself and how you present yourself because this is now your, your, your digital representation of who you are. Yeah, but you know, you, you can't get a tat in your, in your forehead. <laughs> I don't know this. You're coming. You're sounding very, very Amarish. But you can't, continue. <laughs> yeah, just sat in your forehead and, and still get a nine to five. And again, it comes down to the organization because I'm sure that a lot of places in Jamaica will not even employ somebody with tattoos, depending on where it is. If especially if it is not covered. Uh, some uh, people uh, are uh, against uh, also uh, piercing. So, so, so some point I think we're moving away from that. Um, personally, I, I don't have a problem if you mm -hmm. have tats or, 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 or um, piercings to mm -hmm. each his own. I mean, within reason to, you know what I mean? I don't expect mm -hmm. him to come to work with Cardi B nails. <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying. Why not? Uh, oh, you got to type on the computer. Get the job done, why not? No, nah, then you can't you got <laughs> the computer keys, the, the keyboard, you can't do nothing, man. You understand? You know, we're, we're in a world of double standards. Mm -hmm. And so there are things that, while ethically, we should be mindful of them, but we embrace them nevertheless mm. because it is popular or mm -hmm. it is touted by someone who is popular. And mm -hmm. so, just as we're saying, because this person might have 100,000 or a million followers and you are one of them. The person posts something that you're not in agreement with, but you feel that urge and that need to be a part of the following. If you like mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So, and that is why double we're standards. Message over admiration. Yeah, man. In, in yeah, man. truth, ultimately, yeah, it comes down to a your individual. A speed is a speed. A speed is not a shovel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Digital footprint. All right, so. Let me read up your something. I'm really, really careful. <laughs> Spend all 10 minutes. <laughs> I read one line before me like I think no, them no, nowadays. <laughs> that, that may be a little too drastic. I'm for watching, you know, because the story we are carrying, it feel like I have to be watching, you know, you know closely. In other news on the international scene, certified lover boy was unveiled as promised at midnight, nine months after Drake had planned to release it. Drizzy doesn't mention Kanye by name, but no need to. He's clearly throwing shade at him on the track 7 a.m. on Bridal Path. According to TMZ, Kanye's manager said this week, Ye would be listening closely to Dre's album for references to him. And if Dre crossed the line, it would be war on. Among those appearing on the album are Jay-Z, Travis Scott, Lil Wayne, Young Thug, 21 Savage, Ty Dolla Sign, Kid Cudi, Rick Ross, Lil Baby, and Project Pat. In all, there are 21 tracks, including a spoken word cameo by Nicki Minaj on Papa's Home. Meanwhile, dancehall fans on Twitter throw shade after noticing that Popcorn is not featured on the album. <laughs> Why did they do that? Look why, here. why did I do that? For many, for, and I can say years, for many years, persons have been waiting and anticipating um, an official and authentic Drake Popcorn collaboration for Drake's album. And each time Drake is drop, dropping an album, they're looking out, they're searching and seeking if Poppy's there. And once he's not there, then comes the shade on both sides. Poppy, I get the treatment from Drake where I get to Queenie. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm not laughing at the situation, you know, but we see it um, oftentimes where these act, dancehall acts get signed to these major labels or major players and mm -hmm. no, no, there's no fruit. Mm hmm. You know, it doesn't bear any fruit. We have and, seen and that. Not, on, not only that sometimes too, but also on the flip side, Drake is signed to a label. He may have a track, but then the tracks that he ha that he that he that he has on the album, they also have to go through a process, a process of elimination. So chances are there may be a song that didn't make the album, didn't make the cut 
after that process of elimination, which we are not privy to, but that is definitely something that happened. happened I, I just always saw it as, as Drake getting material. That's mm -hmm. how I've always seen it. And my opinion has now changed. Mm -hmm. Just coming to Jamaica, access, getting, in, access getting into material. that vibe, yeah, man. getting access to that material like, like, for your own creativity. Like all the others, Nicki Minaj, Snoop Dogg, all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah man. That's, that, 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 that's how I see it. Cashing yeah, in Snoop's, on the Jamaican Snoop culture. Snoop was a whole mood. He went right. from dog to lion. Right. Oh, gosh, man. <laughs> like, you understand? Know you know. So it's just a matter of getting... I think Papa was showing off um, where that is concerned that he was signed to Drake. You know, mm -hmm. but I didn't, know, yeah, I didn't feel like it was going to be any kind of fruit more than and, 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 and to benefit Drake. Sometimes too, Dora, it comes down also to the mindset. Like, you are signed to this label. Um, what are your expectations going in? What exactly did you sign um, the dotted lines for? What is expected I mean, of you? I mean, if, 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 you're, if you sign to Drake, you think, okay, I'm going international now. Well, Shine, so we'll come back to the argument of reading before you click. In this you case, read you before you sign. Eh? And, and, and not only that too, but I think you, you also know this based on your um, position. Not because you're, you're in indoor. awe of this person. Right. You you have to also get your business in order. You have to also assess every situation. And it's not like you're capitalizing or whatever, but you're yeah, just man. being practical. Know your worth. But, but if, if, if your I, worth. I give you a contract, I'm going to ensure that that contract basically benefits me more than you. Exactly. And that Point is what done. is happening. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that is why you have to pull it apart. And then, like Shane mentioned earlier, in knowing your worth, you will undoubtedly know what to ask See, for. You, you, you don't have to jump on a sign because, like yeah. you said, Shane, you're in awe mm -hmm. kind yes. of thing. Uh -huh. All right, well, celebs celebrating their birthday today are Coco T, Omi, R&B singer August Alsina, actor Charlie Sheen, and DJ Envy. Any birthdays, Shine, Shane? Yes. Um, All right, Shane, my Mrs. Niece, Shine, I'll go through our list. Yeah, she man, don't find nothing My yet. niece, Mrs. Kimberly Silvera, um, and her husband, Matthew. Yeah, man, they have a little boy. His name is Matthew, and it's his birthday today. So, Matthew, happy birthday, man, over there in Above Bay, Portland. All right. What did birthday. you say? What did you say? Um, I was saying that I see you searching frantically, frantically so I don't know I if you have any birthdays. I was just setting up the ad. And it's not yet, but Digicris birthday tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow? Oh, yes, happy man. Happy birthday yeah, man. when it comes, Digicris. He's yeah, a burger boy. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, yeah. happy birthday, Digicris. And, uh, of course, George McIntosh. And, and um, Robert Powell is their birthday today. And it's coming from Charmaine in Black River. Mm -hmm. Just one? <laughs> well, I, d I don't have time to do no. any more right now. No, oh, I, I really like, like how proud Shine is when she's doing the greetings. You yeah, understand? Yes, I, I don't really, have it. really love it. You finally know right, people are born. <laughs> you know, we need to go to the cash pot. So, you well, know, I don't have the time today. All right. That's the full 100 in music news for today, Friday, September 3. Remember to check out irfm.net slash ebuzz for more music news details. You can also check out Live at 545 for Entertainment Spotlight. I'm Kishima Francis. Big up to Shane Clark, DJ Sunshine. Take it away. All right. I like new music, news talk, updates with artist drops, listener drops, sound effects, and movie drops. Hey, watch that. Get a chunk back, they strengthen your back, they make the attack.